All right, so I am in the animation phase and I get to program each shot. And I'm looking at how the atmosphere changes. And it's always good to check and see if it actually changes enough. And if you don't feel it changes enough, you can go back and you can reprogram that shot. All right, so I think I've got enough variation in these first five. Now I make a new one. I'm gonna first play with the atmosphere. Kinda dim these. And the only one I'm never gonna change is this. This is kind of my spotlighting. It focus me, focuses me on more in the middle. Then I've got the kind of blue cloud thing that's gonna continue throughout which I hope will be pretty cool as I keep going. You see, I, I keep turning one on each frame. It's going to be very subtle, but it should make a difference. Then, my next bug movement, my last bug movement. From there to there. If I need to paint in a shadow, I can. Feel like I should play with the atmosphere a little bit more. All right, now next layer. Turn the bug off. He disappears for a moment, but this turns on. Keeps moving across. And the atmosphere, let's play with this one. Push it up, push this one down. Okay, next. Keep doing the blue. And I'm done with this bug cycle. Now I go to my next bug movement back here. Actually, I think I need another, another frame of just atmosphere. This is where you get to set up kind of all your timing. So I've just finished going between this and this. And that's about it. So now let's just play with atmosphere. Let's bring that up. Bring this down. And let's have another one of just atmosphere. Okay, and now the bug's gonna reappear. First, I'm gonna turn on my stage settings. And there's my bug. And then at any time, I can just run a quick test. That bug moves nicely. Oh, but the test has helped to show me something. And that's that the bug needs to be at a different level behind the... Um, Huh, what is it that's happening? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
behind the closed foreground now. There we go. Okay, so now I do a new one. Bug moves up here. And at this point, I want my, my character to start moving up. So that character mm -hmm. Y starts to pop up. So now I have to also animate character Y. Let's see. And then I get rid of my other character Y. There we go. And I can play with this lighting around him as well. And then the bug. So I gotta make sure my atmosphere changes enough. Okay, next. Got a lot of moving parts now. Change the atmosphere again. Push it up sometimes, push others back. Play with the different colors. Change the bug's position. I wish the bug were darker though, let's see. Let's see what else. It'll work. When it's moving, it'll be easier to see. Oh, it's this one. It's making the bug a little hard to see. Well, I have an idea. So to keep it easier for the bug to see, I'm going to use a, a low opacity eraser, really soft but pretty big, and just kind of erase that texture out on the path of the bug. And that will help on all of these for that bug to be seen. Okay, good. And now my other character, he needs to start having his tongue do something. Oh, I have an idea for here. I want his uh, mouth to be kind of closed when he comes up. Oh no, I didn't bring over the, the eye and the mouth assets. All right, so not terrible tragedy, but let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna save it here because all of this is working. And I've done a lot of good work. I don't wanna to have to redo. So let's show you some of the difficulties that happen. I didn't bring over all my assets. So let me bring over my assets. Uh, the ones I need are the eye group and the jaw group, right? So what I'm going to do is turn them both off, select them both, hit Command C, go to my thing here, go on top of my character, and hit Command V, paste them in. And because I turned them both off, it shouldn't affect any of these. But before I do anything, I need to turn them on and place them. So here's the eye group. I need to place that on the eye. Okay. 
Think of this as makeup. Right. And now, whatever I do with the eye, hopefully it will stay placed. So I think I want to have them come up with the eye closed. And then I also want his jaw closed. I'm going to take this whole group and move that into place. Now the problem is, this is what's really annoying, <laughs> but it won't affect me too, too badly. Um, anytime I turn those on in other layers now, because I brought them in after I had assets built in, they'll, they'll, they won't be in the same place anymore. But it's okay. So I get to play with it. So he's going to come up like this. His eyes closed. So in this frame, I'm going to play with his eye. I'm going to move the eye group again. And I'm going to change it from being closed to starting to open. Just like that. And then his mouth I'm going to change from being all the way closed to opening pretty fully. So I'll move the whole group in and then not have it all the way open, but have it almost all the way open. Like that. So just looking at this character's animation. Okay, now I also have to add the tongue. And I need the tongue group to go above the jaw group. Come on. So it goes like from this to this. Make sure this is all working. Good. Okay. Now I do the next frame. Tinker with the atmosphere a little. The bug, bug's movement. The jaw. The tongue. I think I'm going to go right to this tongue. And then the eye. To here. All right, let's see how that looks. Okay, next frame, start from the top, check with all your stations. Push things forward, push things back. I might rasterize this and erase away where the bug is there as well. So that shows up a little bit better. Rasterize this, same thing. 